Welcome to your Go Market update for the 9th of May 2022 with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst for Go Markets. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, on Friday, US stocks closed the week lower again. Inflation and continued growth fears continue, and this has pushed the major indices down to 12 month lows. Part of the reason for this, of course, is that US bond yields are rising and continuing to do so now at 3.15%, which essentially is a three and a half year high. And this is all despite US earnings really beating expectations significantly. Around about 80% of those reported so far have beaten expected. And we've had 87% of the S&P 500 reported so far. So we're in really the last week of earnings season proper. We're seeing the slide continue in Asia with the US futures negative in early trading. NASDAQ futures are down around 1%. Asian indices are following that weak US lead. ASX is down 0.8% in early trading. We're seeing the US dollar index testing resistance level and it has broken through in Asia this morning. Gold isn't moving very much and is trading mid-range between that 1850 and 1900 level, around about that 1875 point at this stage. Oil remains over $110 a barrel on the Brent contract and the VIX is over 30, all of which is exerting a downwards pressure on stocks at this stage. Cryptos continue to sell off. We had another significant sell off over the weekend. We're now testing 2022 lows just above 34,000. That's a key level. We'll have a look at a chart in a moment. And it is a quiet day today with Chinese trade balance, the highlight. Wednesday's inflation numbers, particularly out of the US, but also out of China and Germany, are likely to influence sentiment throughout the week. It's fair to say that as really has been the case for the last couple of weeks and as we've been reporting that markets remain high risk. Let's have a look at a couple of charts. If we just start with Bitcoin, we did reference this and you can see there, there's an intraday low hit in February and in January. There's where we are today after this gap down of the weekend. And you can see that 34,000 under significant pressure. If we just put this on the weekly chart, you can see how serious this is. And if we do break this 33,500 level, then a test of 30,000 looks very much on the cards, which will be down to lows not seen since July last year. On the FX front, there looks to be significant weakness in commodity-based currencies today. There's a critical 175 level on the GB pound Aussie, and you can see it's breaching that in Asian trading this morning. We could see a move up towards 176, so around about 100 pips in this range if we are to push upwards through it. And if we look at the 30 minute chart, you can see how we've had a sharp move up in Asia this morning, even pulling this back. You can see how strong that is, really sort of continuing what we saw at the back of last week. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.